What's up guys? Me and Scout will be reviewing the Pismo watch today. Scout! Scout, high five! High five! High five! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> high five, Scout! You gonna Scout, give that high, high five? five. Oh. <laughs> high five! There it is! Okay. Alright, good girl. So, we are reviewing a Gizmo watch. And it is a Gizmo. I'm Gizmo. I'm um, gonna take over the world with Google. We are joined with the box today. That is all. Thank you for watching. Oh man, Peace it's good review on the box. Sweet. Let's get into it. Peace out. The Gizmo watch from Verizon Wireless. Not a toy, that's for sure. Uh, it's about $179, um, but depending on what you might think, probably worth it if your child is a, a busy person. It's got great GPS location. You can uh, find out where your child is. They can let you know where they are by hitting a button on the watch. I'll show you that right now before I forget. This is the watch. Um, it's a comic book theme. There's a bunch of different themes. But this little yellow button right there, they hit that and it will show you exactly uh, pinpoint accuracy. The GPS is pretty impressive of where they are. But getting back to the watch itself, it basically has the, obviously the GPS we just talked about. They can call and text 10 contacts that the parents um, or guardians will enter into the app. That is all. 10. There's no YouTube, Snapchat, whatever else is out there, social media stuff, no internet. So that's great. The only thing they can do is call or text. You can uh, set up some activities for your child, like um, steps. I put 4,000 steps as a goal for Gavin. Um, sometimes, he actually, he did get it one time when he was in New York City. But uh, some to-do lists. You can do homework, um, reminders. Built for kids. It is waterproof. If you accidentally take it in the pool, it's, up, it's good up to about three feet for about a half an hour. I wouldn't recommend that, obviously, but if you accidentally leave it on, uh, you should be good to go if you remember to take it off quickly. And then it's a su super simple setup. G the Gizmo Hub app from the Play Store, Google Play Store, or the Apple Store. Uh, you set up an account, and they'll give you some directions in an email, and uh, you set it up that way. Really easy. Requires a monthly service plan. Boo. No annual contract. Yay! And no need to switch phone providers. So if you have Verizon Wireless... It will cost you, a current Verizon wireless plan, by the way, it will cost you $5 a month. If you have AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, or somebody else, you can still get the watch through Verizon wireless. You have to get a plan for the watch, and it is $15 a month. You do not have to switch phone providers. So if you're happy with AT&T, you can stick with them. You would just need a Verizon wireless plan for the watch, which is $15 a month extra what comes in the box you'll get the watch obviously and you see a band in there um, you notice I switched the band the band that comes with it is this and it's a standard 20 millimeter band so any 20 millimeter band will work uh, you just slide the pin over and then you just kind of pop it in there and then you put your new on it's super easy I mean it's, it takes about not even five minutes to do but I did some research on this and talked to the Verizon wireless guy and he even said along with the people who wrote the reviews of this watch that this band not so good. It seems that this part right here um, breaks off pretty easily and not only that from what we noticed because we use this band for about a week we've had the watch for about a month now uh, we love it but uh, this band has these three clips this one here this one up here and then there's one on this one and they all kind of like interlock and let me tell you it is pretty cumbersome i had struggling doing it uh gavin really struggled doing it so i found this band which is awesome on amazon for like eight dollars and change i think it was maybe nine bucks velcro and it is pretty strong and gavin puts it on and off super easy also that comes in the box is the charger you will get a proprietary verizon wireless four pin magnetic um, charger and i'm not sure if 
any other manufacturer makes these yet because I believe this watch just came out in 2019 and those four pins hook up to these four pins right back there by magnet and what I did is uh, went to Verizon Wireless and bought a spare charger for $12 I think it was $12.99 and it's the same charger you get in the box minus uh-huh the charging block. I can't believe they couldn't throw one of these in. But anyways, standard USB. We had some laying around from other chargers. Uh, you might have some as well. And it just, obviously, you know how those work. So for 12 bucks, that's fine. Gavin went to New York City with the watch. Um, so we bought the extra charger just in case. And the GPS was phenomenal, impressive. I got to see where he was in New York City using the GPS, we texted each other, uh, called each other, and it worked flawlessly. Um, the watch itself, pretty durable. It's a standard, you know, I don't know, piece of electronics. A couple of features on there. There's a, there's a bunch of different themes you could choose from. I won't go through them all. I think there's like maybe eight or 10. This is comic book. Um, getting back to the GPS real quick, this yellow one will allow your child to let you know exactly where they are. Um, there's two GPS settings in the app. One is real-time tracking, which is pretty phenomenal, but it does, and it'll warn you, it does eat up the battery uh, somewhat quickly. And then there's another GPS setting where it'll give you like the vicinity of kind of where your child is at. Um, pretty cool. So if, even if your child doesn't know where they are, they can hit that button and uh, let you know exactly where they are. Pretty sweet. Again, there's the LTE Verizon Wireless 4G LTE connection. The battery life on this, um, not using that real-time tracker, which we don't use, I don't know, probably close to four days, I bet, before that thing gets down to, to zero. Um, pretty impressive battery. And then these are just some of the different features on their volume. These are the themes that you can choose from. Um, contact list there's a little jump activity if you want your kid to do some exercise if they've been playing Fortnite or Xbox all day or Sony PS4 and they need to jump well you can tell them to jump and this will track it there is a count step tracker kind of like a Fitbit I put in a goal of 4,000 um, I think the normal is either 6 or 10,000 for an adult but just for fun we don't really take it all that serious um, this one is a popular one. Oh, there it is. Oh boy, there they go. And it just has a different. Thank you, thank you for watching. I try my best. And then there is the favorite one, the recorder. Now this can be used as a voice changer, but most importantly, and what Gavin uses it for the most, is to send messages. So for example, I'm going to hit that, hit this. I am recording a voice message. I don't know why I started in a robot voice. Testing. I am recording a voice message. I don't know why I started in a robot voice. Testing. And then if that's not funny enough. I am recording a voice message. I don't know why I started in a robot voice. I am recording a voice message. I don't know why I started in a robot voice. The balloons are Gavin's favorite. Sounds like you're on helium. I am recording a voice message. I don't know why I started in a robot voice. Ask it. And... As you can see, the volume gets... I am recording a voice message. I don't know why I started in a robot voice. Volume gets a little low. Um, you hit this purple button, and then you choose a contact, and let's send that to me. There we go. And zoom. I got it. Pretty nice. Um, there's emojis that they can uh, send. There's 10 or 15 uh, preset messages that they can send, like, I'm having fun, come pick me up. Um, love you. 
all kinds of stuff. And then you can, as a parent or guardian, actually edit those and um, put a couple of different ones that you might want that might be more personable to you. There's a little stopwatch. If you need a timer for doing reading or math or something, they can use a little stopwatch. There's a timer, similar thing. And then a to-do list. We have uh, some math homework and some reading homework on there. That sets a little reminder. Um, things like that. Uh, whether you use them, I don't know. You know. But any case, the watch itself is a lot of fun. It works great. Actually, we'll try to do a test call. Um, let's call Gavin's mom. We won't send her a text. We'll hit this button. And let's see if she answers. Because I know she is out and about somewhere. Hello, we're just testing the gizmo watch for this video review. Am I coming in loud and clear? Yes. All right, thank you. So are you. Bye. Great. Bye. So there you go. Pretty easy. And like I said, the landline phone, it works as well. Just cannot text on it. Um, i trying to think if there's anything else before we wrap this up. Uh, pretty good watch. $179, is it worth it? Yeah, it's a personal preference, along with, don't forget, the $5 plan or the $15 plan. Change the band, any 20 millimeter watch will work. And if your child has uh, after school activities, um, this is a great device that they can have uh, so they don't have to carry around a cell phone or ask somebody to call or whatever if they're on a play date. And you know they could say, all right, I'm ready, come pick me up. Whatever the case may be, pretty cool. Um, thanks for watching the video. And if you have any questions on the watch, we've had it for about a month or so now. We're pretty used to it. Please leave the questions uh, in the comment section. And Gavin and I are pretty good with getting back uh, to anybody that might have a question. And please subscribe. That would help us. And a couple thumbs up. Thank you so much. Bye.